Well, as mentioned earlier on that, uh, you know what, tomorrow we're going to have a very special outside broadcast with our partnership alongside the Film and Publication Board, alongside a variety of uh, stakeholders. We'll be broadcasting, looking at a very important theme on the African continent, the protection of African children online. That's going to be our big conversation. There's going to be a, a huge uh, program that will be taking place with different uh, experts who will be expanding on this wonderful theme. To chat a little bit about this, we're joined by the CEO of uh, the Film and Publication Board, whose initiative is this, uh, partnering with the SABC. That's Dr. Mashilo Boloka, who's going to who's chatting with us a little bit about the FPB and uh, also some of the themes we'll be touching on tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining us, Dr. Boloka. Thank you very much for having me on the station that so close to my heart. Um, uh, being uh, previously at the department and I think we have always uh, Department of Communication Digital Technologies we have always advocated for regional integration so sure. and this is the only station in the whole world that can foster that I think for me being here at all times it's a um, it's, it's an honor really because I know through the station I can talk to people as far as the Middle East yeah, I and mean, the various languages as well. Yeah, I mean, just it, it's people. fantastic that you're endorsing us in, in that way. And I think that speaks to just how broad of what we do. But let's look at the work that the Film and Publication Board does because it's as essential, especially in a digitized world and where uh, technology is changing, where information rules are also changing, the dissemination of information uh, is uh, also changing. So we have to protect uh, individuals, we have to protect companies. There's also the protection of children and women. So there's a whole lot of things to, to work on. Tell us a little bit about some of the work that the board does. The, for many people, the film and publication has historically been known as the classification authority. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, we are one of the oldest entities within the portfolio of the digital communication te technologies, born around 1963. Um, the purpose of the time, that's why we got carry this tag of a censorship board. We mm -hmm. have been known as the one that used to ban music, ah. anything. So you just like us, we used to be um, an apartheid yes. radio station. <laughs> yes, that's what that's what we have been known as. Yeah. Um, but key to that has been the classification mm -hmm. uh, and issuance of uh, um, writings uh, for age appropriateness in terms of uh, content consumption. Like if you see um, uh, PG-13, parental mm. guidance. Mm. This is the organization that uh, has been known to do that. We still continue to do that. But uh, post-2019, Parliament passed the legislation which extended our powers into the online space. In other words, we regulate. We are now the online safety regulator, which exists to protect the public, particularly women and children, against what is defined in the act as uh, harmful and prohibited content. Harmful would be the content like cyberbullying, um, um, content that exposes co uh, children to um, uh, a, uh, um, a age inappropriate kind of content okay. like pornography and so forth. Mm -hmm. But prohibited content, which is quite key now, things such as uh, false information, uh, fake news, misinformation, mm. hate speech, which is very mm -hmm. critical. If you think about the situation in, in, in Africa, most mm -hmm. of the time, I think there's this misinformation and disinformation that happens. And even hate speech based on whether it's race or ethnic group and so forth. So we, we are the regulator that currently does that. And a lot of our work now is centered around that. Uh, around that. That's why we thought the, uh, the round table on Friday um, mm -hmm. to kind of share, I mean, as Africans, mm -hmm. are we, this is a major issue. Sure. confronting any community, particularly mm -hmm. women and children. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a video, I, I, I mean, most people saw it. Yeah, the one we, on, yeah, we were speaking about the one on Twitter. Yeah, yeah because the, the, the online harms, which is the biggest risk facing humanity mm -hmm. as an outcome of what you call digital transformation, has now become actually a war against two categories in the society, children and women. Mm -hmm. okay. And we can't be quiet about that. Mm -hmm. And and for me is. What is it that we're doing on the African continent? I, I, I get invited to speak, whether Europe or the Americas, but the, the question that I always have is, what is it that we're doing as Africans? Okay, we'll, we'll chat a little bit about that. Yeah. We need to go to our uh, sports update, and I'd like us to touch on those particular things that we'll be addressing in uh, the gathering tomorrow, because we'll be touching on that uh, issue of uh, online protection of rights, because it's so pivotal, as you highlighted, the 
buzzword is digital transformation. So we need our laws, also we need our uh, the implementation of those laws to be in synergy uh, with that digital transformation. What we're speaking with our guest today, Dr. Mashilo Goloka, he is the CEO of the Film and Publication Board. In light of what's happening tomorrow, we'll be having On an Friday? outside... Oh, oh, I'm thinking it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's Thursday. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we'll be having it on Friday and we'll be chatting a little bit about some of these themes that we'll be touching on on our outside broadcast for Africa Day. You see, I'm looking forward to Africa Day. That's why I think it's Friday. But then let's move to our sports update and then we'll come back and touch on these themes that will be discussed at the gathering listening to on the move right here on channel africa we're speaking to the ceo of the film and publication board dr mashilo boloka he'll be joining us with the film and publication board alongside channel africa and the sabc on friday for an outside broadcast really looking into the protection of children online this is a really important conversation because you know as we're speaking about some of the work that you guys do at the film and publication board protection of people online essentially we're Women and children is so important and we're seeing clear examples on South Africa's uh, Twitter or X uh, streets you know recently there's been a huge case of uh, uh, what, what do they call it uh, you know pornographic imaging uh, revenge porn online and I know uh, I've seen I think uh, you know notice that the Film and Publication Board will be helping with some of the legal action in that regard so if it's so hard to predict protect adults how much more is it, you know, harder to protect children? Because children are the most vulnerable people in our society. So we see the vulnerabilities of even adults online. That means that children are so much more exposed to those vulnerabilities. Correct. Um, and that's why for us, really, we, we thought uh, when Africa is celebrating um, Africa Day mm -hmm. uh, on the 25th, we should be able, within the context of the... Um, uh, our mandate, mm -hmm. be able to raise awareness about these issues. Uh, and we are appealing in, 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 on, on African governments because I meet a lot of people on the continent who say, we, we don't have legislations, we don't have the me regulatory measures, we don't have enforcement measures. And they go and report this to the law enforcement agency, they, they don't understand this. Therefore, that's why um, um, and we are fortunate in South Africa that our parliament was the first um, on the continent to pass a legislation on online safety in 2019. Mm. And then, secondly, we were the third uh, behind Australia in the whole world to have such, such a kind of legislation. Other countries wow. are coming on board, including the UK that passed theirs um, uh, last year. But what the most important thing is to say, South Africa cannot be successful in this area unless it brings the rest of um, Africa with them. Uh, because if you know or if you understand the online space uh, is borderless. Yeah. Um, and yes. that's why I think we have to join hands um, as African countries to raise awareness about um, the, the online dangers, uh, whether for the children and for women. Um, for children in particular, because like you said, they can't speak for themselves. We yes. can only speak on their behalf, but yeah. they need to protect them. And we can only do so if we, first of all, work together and capacitate the rest of the continent to travel this journey with us. And women in particular, because the, the kind of um, um, femicides and gender-based violence that is in the society has now been mm. transferred online. That's true. Um, and that's why we said this online harm actually has become um, um, uh, the, the, the violence against women. Uh, whether Because, you see, being online, this is the very important thing, being online is not, it's a human right issue. True. It's not a choice. Yeah. Because, people, I mean, violence yes. isn't only physical, yes. right? Yes, yes. And, and the online one, the, the physical one actually is better because I would say it's mild because it will end at one point. All but right. the online one can't. Let me stop you there because we're going to take this into the next hour of the show so we can really get a feel of some of the conversations that we'll be having on Friday during our outside broadcast. It's two minutes past 11 Central Africa time. Let's get our latest news with Jolane Tulo. We'll come back, continue speaking to Dr. Mashilo Boloka, CEO of the Film and Publication Board.
And it's past 11 Central Africa time. We're in the third hour of On The Move, continuing a conversation from the hour before, still speaking to the CEO of the Film and Publication Board, Dr. Mashilo Boloka. We're throwing forward to an outside broadcast that we'll be having on Friday alongside the Not Film tomorrow, Publication. Not sure. uh, It's on Friday, <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> I know you can't wait, yeah. but it is uh, the way that we'll be celebrating Africa Day and Africa Month here at Channel Africa, at the SABC and at the Film and Publication Board. Looking specifically at protecting children online. So uh, Dr. Mashilo Bologa is in studio with us to help us sort of throw forward to the event but also find out a little bit about the work that they do in the regard of protecting children online. Well Dr. Bologa I know that you at the Film and Publication Board have a child protection team. It's a really important way to sort of uh, sideline a specialized team to protect children online. Um, indeed, um, our team um, does two things mainly. Mm -hmm. we, we also, as the film and publication, run a hotline, um, the first uh, on the continent. Mm -hmm. and, and through that, because what, what we do, given the nature of um, um, children protection, is borderless, and some of the cases may not necessarily originate in our own country. Yes. So, um, currently, we serve on a, 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 um, a network of hotlines throughout okay. the world and we also serve on the SM board member for that. What you do is this where we report, members of the public will report any case of um, uh, online abuse. We okay. call it child sexual abuse material. Okay. They can report it and then once they report it, it doesn't matter which country, then if it doesn't originate in South Africa, then we pass that to a hotline in that country. Mm -hmm. Then the investigator through Interpol and then that's how I think we prosecute cases. But if it's from South Africa, we deal with uh, that within our our own um, legislative environment, working with South African Police and the National Director of Public Prosecution. We work with those. But 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 the other part, in addition to the hotline, we also um, provide because some of these matters get reported to the police. The police gather evidence. Yeah. You can imagine. I think last year there was a case involving I think Mr. One Mr. Ackerman, um, who has been sent three life sentences um, oh. in South Africa on what the nature of the case are that when the police gather all this evidence whether laptops cell phones mm. they bring that kind of material to the FTB to analyze because you got a specialist that they analyze this kind of content and give evidence in, in, in court these are uh, professional people so for any case you are sure of over 2,000 uh, videos or, or images that you need to analyze to ensure that indeed the um, um, the system or the caring material that yeah. um, abuse children and then give evidence in court. That's what the team is doing. And because of the nature of the environment, um, very technologically advanced, quite rapidly evolving, this team continues to go through a lot of training. But key to that, um, the wellness program, because you can understand some of the visuals that they have to go through, you and I cannot, uh, because mm. they are so gruesome, you can't deal with yeah. those. That's why then, as the FPB, we have to provide that kind of a wellness to make sure that they recover um, psychosocially and be able to do that work on, 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 on a single day or wow. every day. So that's the nature of the work that we do. That is really incredible work yeah. there. And uh, it's only but a little bit of uh, some of the conversations that we'll be unpacking on Friday. I know that we've invited a variety of stakeholders who'll speak on policies and many other nuances when it comes to child protection online. Really important conversation. What are you looking forward to the most in our outside broadcast for Africa Day on Friday? Look, for me, that's why we partnered with, with, with uh, Channel Africa. Yes. Because it's a channel that can help Mm. Uh, in ensuring that Africa has a conversation on this matter. Yeah. There's no channel in the whole world that can give you that, whether from rich, uh, geographical, or also from the diversity of the language that you guys broadcast in. Absolutely. And I think I'm saying so because Southern government has made regional integration um, a, a priority. Mm. And this is the channel that can help us to do that. When we uh, have a conversation on African issues, this is the channel that works. And Africa recently has passed the, through the AU uh, in 2013, what you call Agenda 2063, which is about the Africa that you want to provide solutions around um, 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 safer communities and digital citizens. Yeah. And therefore, for us, we say that agenda cannot be realized until we deal with this biggest risk that is facing us as a community, 
as a society, as a country, and as a continent as well. That's why then we say, let's bring the rest of Africa with, with, with us, particularly around policy, around legislation, and around um, um, enforcement. Absolutely. Because this is a problem that is not only facing South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's facing Botswana, it's facing Zimbabwe, it's yeah. facing Morocco, it's facing Egypt, it's facing everyone. Whether in the DRC, especially in the war torn countries mm -hmm. like your DRC, your uh, Darfur, South Sudan, Darfur, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, Somalia, we need to work together as a continent to protect the children and the women, the vulnerable groups um, against online harms. Well, we have a lot to unpack on Friday. We thank you, though, for coming in and giving us a sneak peek into uh, some of the conversations that will be taking place. We'll be with you, and I know some of your colleagues and many other stakeholders on Friday. We look forward to engaging with you once again. The On The Move team, the Channel Africa team will be there and will be together in uh, protecting the children of the continent. Thank you so much for gracing thank, us with your thank time. Thank you very much. Can I make a special request? Absolutely. Sure. That because it's Africa Day, Yeah. We want to see the costumes, the color, oh. the diversity mm. of Africans through their regalia mm. on that day. Pressure, pressure. For me. So, <laughs> so maybe the, the best one with the best African outfit will get um, a, a gift from the film and publication. Okay, nice. I like gifts. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll take you on on that one. But thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Yeah, pleasure. <laughs> thank you very much.